Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the mass of a solute by using Henry's law. Problem says that Henry's law constant for carbon dioxide in water. Carbon dioxide is a solute and so water is a solvent. Is 1.67 multiplied by 10 to power 8 Pascal means here you can see that kh value is given that is Henry's constant at 298k this is the temperature and question asked to calculate the quantity of CO2 means we have to calculate mass mass in gram of carbon dioxide in 500 ml of soda water this is the volume of solution when packed under 2.5 atm that is atmospheric pressure of carbon dioxide at 298k temperature is constant Henry's law states that at constant temperatures, the vapor pressure of a component in a solution is directly proportional to mole fraction of solute. Here's then formula we have P is the pressure and K is S is Henry's constant dot into mole fraction of solute. This is the formula we have. And here is the pressure and see here you can see that first we find out the relative uh, units kh value is given in pascal and pressure is given in atm so either you can convert pascal into atm or atm into pascal because when we set up these values in this formula units same units will cancel out we can convert uh, atm pressure atm is years atmospheric pressure into pascal we know that one atm is equal to 1.01325 multiplied by 10 to power 5 and it is in Pascal so we can do the conversion then uh, 2.5 atm is equal to here we have 2.5 atm multiplied by uh, 1.01325 multiplied by 10 to power 5 pascals per atm I use dimensional analysis method atm atm will cancel out now you can multiply the values here we have 1.01325 and multiplied by 2.5 and the value which we get we can round up this figure here we get 2.533 2.533 and multiplied by 10 to power this exponent we have and it is in Pascal now next here we have mole fraction of solute means moles of solute upon moles of solute plus moles of solvent so for this we need uh, to know the moles of uh, carbon dioxide and moles of waters to plug in the values in uh, in the mole fraction here you can see that only volume of soda water is given and uh, we uh, the the mass of uh, solute and solvent is unknown if we assume the mass of uh, carbon dioxide the mass of carbon dioxide is x gram then the mass of solvent will be the mass of uh, solvent of uh, solvent that is waters will be 500 minus x gram because total should be equal to 100 uh, sorry 500 x plus 500 minus uh, x is equal to 500 that is the volume of soda waters i have here you can see that uh, soda volume of uh, water is given in five uh, like in ml but the density of water is 1.0 gram per ml then as a result we get 500 uh, gram that is the mass of uh, solvent waters now we can uh, convert mass into moles by dividing uh, the respective mass of these components uh, by their uh, molar mass the molar mass of carbon dioxide is uh, 44 and so the molar mass of uh, water is 18 now we can plug in the values and we can find out x value x value will be the mass of carbon dioxide let's plug in the values the formula here we have that is henry's formula p that is pressure and so we have calculated already pressure in pascal here we have 2.5 2.533 multiplied by 10 to powers 5 and it is in pascal is equal to kh value kh value is given in the problem that is 1.67 multiplied by 10 to powers 8 1.67 multiplied by 10 to power 8 and it is in pascal and here we have dot uh, that is multiplied by mole fraction mole fraction means moles of uh, 
solute it is in moles because we divided mass of carbon dioxide by its molar mass then that is uh, moles of solute here we have x upon 44 upon moles of solute here we have x upon 44 plus and uh, moles of solvent moles of solvent 500 minus x upon 18 now if we look at the volume here volume of the solution you can see that 500 ml is the volume of solution and so it means that 500 gram is water means this solution is quite aqueous means in the solution the quantity of uh, uh, solute that is co2 is quite less than this portion is taken as a negligible because solution is dilute and if it was a concentrated solution we might have considered this uh, this uh, this uh, setup this fraction x upon 44 that is the moles of solute now now our setup becomes quite uh, simpler now we can simplify it we can transfer this value on left side PAPA will cancel out here we have 2.533 multiplied by 10 to power 5 at the bottom this value we get 1.67 multiplied by 10 to power 8 on right side we have x upon 44 upon here we have 500 minus x upon 18 now we can divide the values on left side we can simplify it first here we have 2.533 is divided by 1.67 and the value which we get that is 1.517 we can round up these figures 1.517 1.517 and so in division sub, uh, exponents are subtracted here then so it is positive it goes up then becomes ne negative 5 minus 8 is equal to minus 3 here we get 10 to power minus 3 on right side <coughs> we apply this method as a result here we get at the top uh, 18x and at the bottom here we have 44 bracket uh, sorry 500 uh, it is uh, 500 minus x now let's uh, we can uh, open the bracket also here we have 18x upon and so we can multiply these values here 500 multiplied by 44 here we have 500 is multiplied by 44 and the value which we get that is 22,000 22,000 and minus 44x and see here we can do the cross multiplication 1.517 multiplied by 10 to powers minus 3 we can do the cross multiplication then set up uh, we will get here we have on right side 18x is equal to we can multiply these values 1.517 and so here we have 10 to power minus 3 break it 22,000 minus 44 X now we can open the bracket by multiplying this value 22,000 is multiplied by here we have 1.517 and so multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 and the value which we get that is 33.374 33.374 minus we can multiply these values also here we have one point uh, first we have 44 multiplied by 1.517 and uh, multiplied by 10 to power minus sorry uh, 44 multiplied by 1.517 multiplied by 10 to powers minus 3 and so the value which we get that is 0 0.066 we can round out this figure because it is quite a small value here we are 0 0.0667 0 0.0667 and it is in x on left side we have 18 x we can add uh, both sides 0.0667 six six seven x here we can add zero point zero six six seven x so that uh, we can uh, keep x value on left side one side then so if we add this value here we get eighteen point zero six six seven x is equal to here we have thirty three point three seven four now we can transfer this value on right side then we will get x value x is equal to thirty three point three seven four upon here we have 18.0667 now we can divide these values here we have 33 
18.374 is divided by 18.0667 and the value which we get that is 1.847 we can round up these figures we can uh, write this value in three significant figures 1.85 1.85 this is the mass of carbon dioxide in in 500 ml of soda water you can see that how i calculated mass of carbon dioxide that is solute in the solution by using henry's law p is equal to ks dot x where p is uh, pressure ks henry's constant and x is the mole fraction of solute thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on facebook and twitter to sharpen your skills please try out our test series on livetotalage.com thank you so much for watching have a great day